Live is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the corn market, the beans, and the wheat uh, here because I think we've reached a level that uh, we probably should pay attention to, especially from my perspective. I posted a chart, a uh, long term weekly chart of the corn there at uh, 492, where it's where we bought it. The low was 491. We're now trading about 16 cents higher than that. Uh, where that's about $800. Uh, we're at break even now. Then I posted the smaller time frame, 15 minute behind it, just to show you the action that's going on. The reason why I want to spend some time here, folks, is uh, this was a life changing pattern for me because after I'd lost my money in 74, I studied uh, from uh, the end of 74 through the beginning of 1975, and that's when I saw a pattern like this. Uh, in the soybean uh, oil and also in soybeans. I use soybean oil because the margin was only uh, $150 to buy a, a spread in uh, July Dece uh, oil, so it didn't cost very much at all. And it worked very well and that paid me pretty good. But the reason why it's important is Gartley on page 222 of his book that cost $1,500 back in 1937 uh, basically said that this is what you should look for. Watch for an ABCD pattern in an uptrend or sell an ABCD pattern in a downtrend. And that's what the Gartley is all about. So on page 222 of that book. So all I do is I look for those patterns and I, that's what I've taught people over the years to do. The reason why this is different, folks, is because there's a whole bunch of them happening at the same time. We've got beans, oil, meal, wheat, and corn all looking at the same thing and the whole world is bearish so maybe they're going to be bearish i don't know but they've hit some major points here this was a life changing pattern for me folks because i caught it right and i wrote it up i got out right and drexel burnham said gee you really know what you're doing heck they didn't realize i told them before i ever took the job that hey i lost a lot of money and they laughed he says, well, that's that's what's going to prevent you from doing it again. And I said, yeah, I hope so. But uh, that that was really the whole reason. I, I knew what I did wrong. I, I added the losing positions. I never used to stop. I was making so much money, I didn't care. If you drop 30, 40 grand, you know, ah, no big deal. I'll make that back. And then the next day, you drop 30, 40 more grand. And I'll make that back. And then you drop 50 grand. I'll make that back. You know, pretty soon it's a goodbye house, goodbye car, goodbye boat, goodbye wife. That took six. That took an extra 16 years. But anyway, this is what you want to be watching, folks. I'm going to be spending a lot of time with this each day, looking at these patterns as they unfold. I'm going to go through a few of them here with you, just to show you where we are, because it's a spot where you can really, really make some serious money. Now, let's. The next one we're going to look at here is going to be the wheat market, and this is a perfect example of uh, markets that go absolutely wacko out of control. Folks, remember last June when we were back up here and it was limit up and you couldn't buy wheat because there was none for sale? The only wheat was going to be in the Smithsonian? Well, it went from 13 to seven to under 6, folks. There was your 382 retracement here. So that's, that's why you want to be a chartist. See, during 1970. 73 74 I bought all these dips okay that's a lot of money you know starting with 30 grand I ran it up you know quite a bit and then I ran it down and, and when I got down to here okay I was in negative balance but I had paid so much commission that I, my balance was 2700 minus I waited till I found a nice trade in pork bellies I made three grand and I didn't trade for a year all I did was study this pattern that's all I did and that's where I got the idea for the Gartley. I called it a Gartley because it was on page 222 of that book. And that's why I made it famous. Uh, the book was then published uh, in 1983 by Billy Jones from uh, 
Lambert Gam Publishing. He came down to my office. He happened to be one of my customers. He said, "What? Well, I'm looking for a book to publish. And I said, get this one. And Gartley had died in 69, and they were fighting over his estate, and he was able to buy the rights to that book and printed it, and it, uh, it's been pretty good. I think it's available for $155 uh, now, but it was uh, 1500 back in 1937. At that time, it was a three-ring binder with all the charts and stuff. But he was the he was the fellow that did more work on technical analysis during those years than anybody else. And you know, uh, there was you know Schaubacher and uh, Wyckoff and a whole bunch of others. Gann, just all, Elliot. You know, Elliot wasn't around very much because uh, he died relatively uh, young, as I believe. We have the same birthday, July 28th, but he passed away relatively uh, quickly. So anyway, this is the kind of thing that we're looking at now with the wheat. You know, we had a heck of a run in that first part of the wheat, but then it's bro it's broken down again, and it made a really nice A B C D this morning, uh, very early in the morning, like two or two in the morning at five ninety eight, and it's rallying a nickel or a dime. Doesn't really mean very much, but we've got to watch some of these others. And one that uh, Mr. Z came on, John Chevney, is probably one of the best grain traders you're going to find in your life. But here is the uh, chart for the. Uh, let me get the daily up here so we can see it very, very clearly. And uh, we'll, we'll get this moving around. Hold on right here. You'll be able to see the soybean chart here for the uh, Novembers. And uh, we're, this is new crop beans, folks. These are the beans that are just being planted. Okay. And you'll see here that we have the bottom forming in here. I wanted it to get just a tiny bit lower here, about 10 cents. And so far, this has not happened. So I'm still still looking at that potential to get down one more time, and that will be the expansion of this ABCD leg down there at 1162. I'll try to be a buyer at 1165. But look how much this has gone down, folks. It's dropped $2 a bushel, mainly because Chinese uh, grain traders, who are the best in the world, know that we have an excess of grain coming in. And so what do they do? They pull all their buy orders to get the prices even lower, and then what they'll do is they'll buy it on the way up, even though it's a lot cheaper than it was before. So those fellows over there in China know how to trade the grains. Believe me, they do. So anyway, this is what we're watching. If you can see this November chart, it also has a three drive to a bottom pattern. So that's on our watch list. Now, last night when I was watching it happen, I, I wasn't up at 2 in the morning, but I was up at 4 and at four, I'd seen the market had already rallied back quite a bit. It had already made a 382 retracement of about 10 cents and then took off for another 15 cents to the upside. So that's another sign that the bullishness that I'm looking at here may be something that we want to pay attention to. That's the real key to uh, seeing what we're watching here today. So that happens to be the November uh, soybeans. Now, I want to uh, switch over here to uh, the new crop soybean oil. Let me get this up here, and uh, we will get this up here on the weekly base. Uh, hold on one second. I've got to draw. The thing disappeared, so I've got to draw it in again. You'll see where we are here. Uh, again, this is the July soybean oil. This is old crop soybean oil that's uh, in the bins, and they're selling it as we speak. And you can see how much it's come down. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60 minute webinar archive he just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30 day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the July soybean oil. This is the old crop soybean oil. Now, soybean oil is for paint and margarine and so many things. It's used for, it's for also for, uh, for energy. But if you'll notice here on the far right where the 61% retracement is, 48.62, and it's trading right now, 48.78. Now, that means it's made a 61% retracement of the weekly chart. That's an ABCD. That is a Gartley pattern. Gartley said, if you can find an ABCD in the bull market, buy it. Okay, now if you go back into the middle of this chart, I'm going to hopefully be able to show it to you here. There was another ABCD right here, back here about a year and a half ago. Another perfect ABCD. This one is the big daddy rabbit. This is the big one right here. Not only that, but the whole world's bearish now. And they should be, because this stuff's been going down. Look, hey, wheat's went from 1370 per bushel down to 596 per bushel. Are you kidding me? That's drought type stuff, folks. I mean, <laughs> give me a break. And I tried it, you know, well, it doesn't make any difference. When you see those limit up moves like that, limit up leads to limit down. All it does is distribute the amount of stuff that you got out there, and that's why you want to be, you know, really, really careful of what you're doing. So let's move on here and uh, get a, get another one that I want to uh, show you, and that'll give us a pretty good idea of where we are. Because here's one, I want to get this one on the weekly also, so that you'll be able to see it. It's another one that has a really good, really good chance of doing something good hold on one second here and you'll be able to see it as we draw it in here hold on just a minute this happens to be the uh, july soybean meal now remember when you're trading soybeans 80 percent of the bean is uh, is the meal that's 80 percent the other 20 percent 
is the soybean oil. Oh, come on, stop it, will you? Uh, sorry, folks, this thing is so darn sensitive. i got to get it moving in the right direction, so hold on. I want to go back from the low that we made back here way over a year ago. And as you can see, as you put this in here, we made a 50% retracement here uh, overnight. And so this is also another one that is going to be very, very interesting. Remember, we had a small A, B, C, D pattern right here also. See that? And boom, away it went. This is the big one, folks, because we had this big move up. Okay, and the one thing, folks, you know, they can move that soy, the, the crude oil stuff around quite a bit. You got to remember about one thing, folks. Crude oil is indigestible. So food, people have to have that. So there's going to be a demand for food here some today. And if this is the spot and we start getting any type of bad weather uh, due to this potential uh, El Nino current that's out there in the South Pacific right now, then that could be. What that does is it heats up the water, the water goes up, and boom, you get a tremendous amounts of rain or no rain at all. It just depends on how how it how it refers. It used to be anchovies that used to be out there. They used to follow the anchovies uh, things. And when the anchovies were not there, that meant that the water was too warm. They had to go to cooler water, and that was all part of El Nino. That was stuff that I was learning way back in the 60s and 70s with uh, Dave Nelson, Oscar McClure, Steve, uh, uh, Earl Hatterney, and Steve Sibbett, uh, Jim Sibbett. Anyway, those uh, those are some of the fun of the fun some of the fundamental things that I did. But I don't do fundamentals anymore. For example, just look at the chart. Is if prices are going up, there's more buyers. If prices are going down, there's more sellers. And that's what you want to remind ourselves of why we're doing these things. Are very very important. So those are those are the main ones that I'm looking at of, of that. And I'll be following all of the you know, new crop corn, old crop corn, all that stuff. But look at look at this one here, folks. This is one. I don't know what cocoa is doing today, but cocoa has been making a three drive to a top pattern here. And you'll see there's where we are. We're right up here where I don't know if cocoa is up or down today. But look look at this beautiful, there was a three drive to a top pattern here. It dropped 10% right into this low, which was a 382 off of the low right here. And boom, here we are. We've completed the major A, B, C, D pattern in cocoa. And that's a pretty big move. Now, I don't know. You know, what I will do and what I can do is I will bring up cocoa right now and find out if, in fact, Coco is moving higher today, and that will be a sign that this pattern has failed. And where is the old Coco? Here it is. Let's move it over a little bit. And we'll put that up here. And oh my goodness, are you kidding me, Coco? You know what, boys and girls? Sometimes this stuff really does work. I just, that totally amazes me. Here's the Coco today, down quite a bit. You can see from the high, we made that. Match the high last night, and we have a pretty big break right here. Beautiful. One, two, three drive to a top pattern. Spot on, and then boom. That means we should get a move like this in Cocoa. Look how much is you're giving up, giving up a nickel today, folks. That's quite a bit in Cocoa. I did not put a Cocoa trade on, and I don't intend to put one on ever. That's their main thing. So let's, uh, I'm just giving you some patterns to, to, to see, you know, how they're, how they're uh, running and how they're moving around. We've got one other, though, this one is not for the faint of heart, folks, but it's the hog market, and it's traded quite a bit, but let's get this up here. So we'll, because we're almost there uh, in the, oh my goodness, almost there's the understatement of the year. We're making right near new lows on the day here. But uh, remember, these sometimes fail. So don't go yelling and screaming if you take a loss because you got to put a stop in. But here's where we're going to be looking at here in the lean hogs. And it'll be, won't be today, but it will probably be tomorrow. I'll update this on the, uh, show on the, the videos tonight but there's your ABCD pattern this is like the upside down version of Coco folks that's all it is you see these red boxes that I mark like that that means you've got a double 1.618 number in here you've got this one and you've got this one that's double 1.618 that's the end of the Fibonacci spiral 
That's mother God and country, folks. You buy it there, you risk a few hundred bucks, and you're going to be right for a considerable amount like we were here. Remember, we, we bought that one, sold that. We didn't go short, but we got out there. And now here's here's the big one coming in right now down at this level, down about another penny in the piggies. So pay attention to that. I'll be doing a special video uh, on that uh, as we go through uh, looking at some of these today. But remember, pigs trade, uh, the, the lean hogs are traded very, very extensively by the commodity funds that run, you know, the mutual funds for uh well, not mutual funds, but the professional uh, traders for commodities that put it into a group. Hogs are traded, cattle are traded, you know, so they're, they're, they're very active, or big open interest, so that's easy to do. Hey, we're going to take a break. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I'm going to post a chart here of uh, something we haven't seen. Oh, we've got a caller from Palm Harbor, Florida. Jim, what can we do for you, my friend? Larry, uh, it's amazing when real, the real world gets in the way you're trading, but I, I missed, missed your segment for the last hour and a half, and I know you were going to be talking about the grains. And, and my 
question is I, I had a bad entry. I bought I bought the corn at four ninety five. We had that run all the way up to five ten. I I took the stop at five oh two because I figured I'm gonna pocket the three hundred dollars. I was waiting for a re entry and unfortunately it was last night before midnight or up to midnight. I did not have a you know, a buy a buy order to re enter and so now we've gone up eight or nine cents. Mm-hmm. So do you just forget about nope. you know the horse is already taken off or, no, or no, would that you just... horse, no no you don't forget about that one. No, this is a big one. No, you don't forget about that. What you want to do is be patient, wait for a sixty one percent pullback or a three eight two, whatever you can. Remember, you made seven cents. You've got a seven cent cushion, right? Well, I know so, I got stopped up and, and took my profit. I wanted to get back in long. Oh well you made it you made you made you made what well, you make almost uh, seven hundred bucks then. Well, see, my entry was bad. I was at, I was not at 490 where you were. I was at 496. Okay, so you, you still did okay. Sort of- okay, now write that number down that you just made, okay? So that's going to be your risk factor, so you're going to be in risk-free. So buy the first 382 retracement that we've just had from the uh, four, uh, 96 up to 0, 06, 10 cents, so about 4 cents lower. Buy the corn, mm-hmm. put your stop in. And uh, below the low at 492, and if it's right, it's going to be fine. What we've got to do, Jim, and this is what I'm going to be doing when I do the videos, is I've got to uh, try to uh, plan so that the people can start to add to this. First of all, the margin is not that great, and if we're right, and this is a major, major one, we want to add several contracts on the way up because that's when you start – you know, you can really start making a lot of money. When you add, what you have to do is you've got to, you know, keep your stops at a reasonable point so that you're not increasing your risk exposure. In other words, you've got profits made. You're willing to risk some of those profits to add to position to make more profits. Okay. And this is what we did okay. on the way down in the bond market. So that that's what we want to try to do. But this is just starting, Jim, so don't – don't shake it off. This this might make it might go down and touch that low one more time. We don't know, so okay. just be just be prepared and be be patient. There's no nothing wrong with that. Yeah, and it is extremely thin as we know, all the way up until usually you know five six o'clock in the morning. The little it's dead. So you get some sleep. I guess that's one advantage between. Well, Midnight sleep six. sleep is uh, very overrated, my friend. Actually, <laughs> I, you know, I've I've been I've been sleeping on four or five hours a night since I was a little kid. My mom told me that I would wake up at three in the morning and play with my toys until they came to get me. She said I never whined. I never, you know, well, well, she was my mother, so what do I know? But anyway, right. I, and I've been that way. I was an altar boy. I I would go to the rectory and wake up the priest, you know to uh, get ready and everything. I'd get the, you know, everything done. All, those were all during the years when I was just a kid, you know, and, and uh, from the, what, the fourth grade to the eighth grade. So I've been um, going without them. When I got into college, I was a scrub nurse at the at the hospital from 11 to 7, 11 at night to 7 in the morning. Then I went to school. I'd sleep two or three hours in the afternoon and go back to work. So I've been living off lack of sleep for a long time. My doctor says to me, he says, I don't know how you've lived this long. <laughs> I still feel okay. <laughs> That's good. And then one, I, have you talked about the bonds yet today? No, not yet, no. If you have a chance in the next uh, 25 I, minutes, it would be great it, just to overview I that because I see as, now I look we're right as, at that 126 and a half We on are bonds at the too. proverbial moment of truth. And I'm, when we get finished here, which will be in about 30 seconds, I'm going to post the bond. And to show the folks, because that's the only one we have a small loss in, but I want to show you what we're looking at, because this is at the moment of truth, too. So that'll be an interesting one to look at. If okay. that support would fail, would you go on and enter on a short side? Nope, I don't sell. Nope, nope. Once I have a losing trade, I shake it off, and I might might sell them 20 minutes later, but not. no, don't reverse. No. Okay. All right. Thanks, thanks okay. for your input. Have a great day. Jim, and stay tuned. I'm going to cover bonds next, okay? Thank you. I will. Okay. Hold on, folks. Let me get the old bond chart up here, and I think I know where it is. It's hidden over there in the corner somewhere. uh Uh-oh. I'm in a different layout. Just a second. I've got to – it's amazing. This stock market's holding up that it wants to blow off one more time. So we're going to see what happens to it. Hold on. Oh, I've lost data. Give me one second here, folks. I've got to get this data – uh, corrected and then we're all right and uh, 
Where is our Bondoli's? Uh, okay, just a second here. They've hidden from me again, and I want to get this bond chart up because it's an important one for a lot of different reasons because that is going to be a big factor on whether we do this or not. And let's get the daily up, and you'll see why we bought it and where it sets. And it's still valid, but here's the bond chart, folks. You'll see we had the Gartley pattern down there at uh, 172.02. I bought it a little too early, 172.10. Our stop is right below this uh, 170, uh, 126.10. If we get stopped out, then uh, we have to wait. But they're just, just like the corn chart, it's an ABCD Gartley. Uh, the uh, time down in the AB leg equals the time down in the CD leg. Everything's set up. Uh, and this is where, you know, I bought it at uh, a little too high. I bought it at 127.10. And then it went down, it went, rallied up to 127.26. Uh, and then we're right at the 1.618 right now. So the risk on that is right at 126.10. We get that, we move away, and there's nothing else. Uh, we can do about it, and that's uh, the low so far has been 127 or 126.20. So it will last 126.29. So it's not out very much. It's only out $300, but you don't like to be out $300 when something that you'd like to see make money, and it's not happening. But the fact that the stock market is holding up so so incredibly well, we're right not right not too far from the highs of days here at 42.14. In the S and P, and when we got these earnings coming out tonight, <laughs> this does not uh, does not look like a bearish market right now. So we'll see. That's that's all I can tell you, and that's all I know. Okay, one other one, copper. Someone asked a question about copper. Here again, we're seeing a market that is setting proverbially at the old. I don't know if proverbial is the right word, but it's the word I used. You'll see here it is the copper. It's so another Gartley pattern. You can see the ABCD. You can see we've been at the 61% retracement, folks, for five days. Look what happened the last time it was at the 61% retracement for five days. This is not a bearish chart. You're completing a Gartley right there, right at the 61% retracement. You are not completing a Gartley here. This was just a 61% retracement. And then you went up. But the fact that you've been here for all of these days means some, some people are willing to buy copper down there at 365. So that's what that means. And now that means they could be wrong and it collapses. But that's what your stop is. If we make new lows below that, that's not a good thing. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I've been asked by one of our real estate folks to take a look at the price of lumber over the last couple of years. Well, back in May of uh, 2021, it hit a price of $1,800 a cubic foot. And now it's trading for $382 a cubic foot. Now, holy moly, what does that mean? Does that mean that uh, – uh, hold on, I've got to turn that off just a second. Just a minute. There, it's off. Okay. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, that means that the price of lumber has gone down a great deal. Yet, when you talk to a real estate person uh, or a builder, uh, the builder, first thing he's going to say, the price of lumber is through the roof. Well, it was through the roof two years ago, but it's on the floor of the roof right now, or the floor of the basement, let's put it that way. So, uh, you got to be careful when people tell you what those prices are. That sometimes what they're telling you that is not actually the truth. Now, I want to do uh, one other thing today, since I've got you both on the for both sections here. So we need to talk about the uh, the U.S. dollar. We're at a very critical level here, folks. Here is a chart of the daily U.S. dollar index. I want to get this up here. That's what we're watching here. You'll see within a heartbeat of the 61% retracement. Now you see it was down a little bit. That means the euro was up. The euro is trying to make the 61% retracement to the downside. So the key levels here are going to be done by the market here in the next three or four days. Any pop above this, the euro is going down. Any move below that, the euro is going up. It's not a question of which of these currencies is the best. It's who's got the cleanest, dirty shirt because none of them look any good because if interest rates are going to go higher, folks, they will go higher. The reason why is uh, as soon as we get the debt ceiling taken care of and what they say is they're going to raise, my guess is they're going to raise it probably by somewhere between $500 billion and $1 trillion. Oh, $1 trillion, I mean, can you believe that? That's 18 zeros, folks. Anyway, let's... Uh, to get back to the real real thing at hand. When, when we increase our debt ceiling, we put out bonds that gives the money to run the company. Now, there's a lot of assets in the United States. There's a lot of income coming in, plus they have a lot of assets. So that's why U.S. Treasuries are revered as not being uh, susceptible to default. But if you'll remember, we posted that credit default swap chart that looks like the tulip bulb mania. So somebody is out there thinking that there's actually going to be a default in the United States Treasury bond. Folks, if that happens, there will be a market crash if that happens, because that means the full faith in government, uh, full faith and honor of the U.S. government is no longer there. 
In other words, it's not in God we trust. It's going to say in God we trusted. And that means uh, that is not going to be a liquid asset. And people will start dumping bonds, and that will make interest, go, interest rates go up. And it will make that lumber chart look like a bullish chart because there won't be much building or anything like that because interest rates are go so high that you're not going to be able to do that. I do not think this is going to happen. But I do believe that, by golly, it's got a chance of happening. Otherwise, why would these really smart guys on Wall Street be buying these, putting these insurance on credit default swaps? I mean, stop and think, folks. In 115 years, you know, we've raised the debt 96 times. We've never, we've never defaulted. That was even during the, uh, the Confederacy, uh, the Civil War. Shut the front door. Now, let's get back here to one other one that is uh, – important here and that is the cocoa market because someone asked me to take a look at cocoa because the high on the cocoa was made on friday we posted that in the room here on friday but look what happened today after the market opened you see the big break in cocoa there was your first 382 retracement there was your second 382 retracement and that, my friends, is worth the price of admission, no matter what show you're going to, whether it's the Jersey Boys, the Sound of Music, uh, Mamma Mia, whatever it happens to be, West Side Story. This is where you play the game at the point three eight two. That's where the money is, and that's what we like to see. So we'll be following that along quite a bit from our good friend that brought to my attention was Tom Hugar, Trader Tom. One of the best books out there on trading, The Best Loser Wins. If you don't have it, it's something that should be in your library. It's the best 40 bucks you can spend. So let's uh, remind ourselves of that. Okay, one other one that someone's asked about, and I'll get it up here just one second. And that is the sugar, because this one has been what we say on a stratospheric ride to the moon, folks. We haven't been this high in sugar in 10 years. Now, luckily, uh, sugar is relatively cheap, 28 bucks a pound. But you can see here we've had very little. Look at this. This thing is once it looks once it broke out of this 1.618 level right here. Once it, you see that red red box there, that's the stand in front of the train for the last time box. Because once you get above here, it's on its way, and we're getting up here to almost 30 cents a pound. Remember. Uh, sugar was at 66 cents a pound back in 1968. Uh, I remember it very vividly because Roy Fassel was running the office for uh, Conti Commodities, and he shorted it at three cents from the high, 66, uh, 52 or something, and the high was 55. And he was so nervous, they ended up taking a $100 profit in it, and it went to $3 a pound. From 66 to $3 a pound. He could have bought a couple of nice Porsches back, well, more than a f back in those days, be more than a few. But anyway, it's all about risk control, folks. It's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. And that's the, the real key, you know, to what we're looking at here as we're doing it. We have one other request from someone, and that is to show that corn chart one more time, and I'll get it up here. Hold on here a second. Uh, that's not the one I wanted. Hold on just a minute. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me I don't have it. That's Oh, it's in a different section. I'm not able to do Oh, you know what I can do, though? I can show you the difference between the uh, – hold on. This is the – oh, I'm going to sneeze here. Paula Verdi's got me. <sighs> oh, excuse me, folks. <laughs> this is uh, new crop uh, – old crop corn, folks. And uh, we almost made uh, the uh, 1.618. This is the one we missed last night by five cents. So uh, this is the new crop. Oh, try it again. This is old crop corn that was grown last year is in the bins. They're still selling it. What we're watching is December corn, which is going to be the new crop corn. And that's got to get through four months of a growing season. We've got to go through May, June, July, August, September, in October, and then we see what kind of crop we have. Never have I seen a year where we didn't have at least one or two major crop failures. So we're going to be watching it very, very closely here. So that's what we're watching here now. we got a break coming up. I believe the final break coming up here pretty soon. But remember, there's a big difference between old crop corn, which is in the bin, 
versus new popcorn was in the ground and it's just starting to grow. There's not even sprouts yet. Both, a little bit. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks. And I've posted a chart here. It's a 15-minute chart of the NASDAQ. Uh, we're trading at uh, 13,940. I remember our number was 13,960. Folks, if you think that's a bearish looking chart, <laughs> read my lips. No way. This looks like we're going to have a big earnings increase here by NVIDIA, maybe a few others. But uh, this does not look bearish. I mean, that might be a top, but it's going to take out that 39, uh, 13,960 top very easily. And the S&P, we're trading at uh, 14, excuse me, 42. Uh, 21 right now that number was 42.23 it's been as high as 42.26 that also will probably go a lot higher my guess the S&P will be somewhere around 42.40 to uh, 42.60 would be my guess but I'll be watching that for a good place to uh, because I these these are topping type patterns folks now I might not get the top but just like in cocoa 
if I get this top in and I see the break and then the 382, that's when I can go to the dance. As Yogi Berra used to say, when you go to the dance, go home to the girl you took to the dance. And that's what I'm going to do. So I know what my risk is going to be. And, hey, maybe this thing's going to go up for another two or three weeks without me. That's okay. Then I'll make something else in bonds or crude oil or corn. And, of course, the bonds were incredibly good to us all during last year and uh, most of this year, too, as a matter of fact. And gold also. We're really very bullish gold and we're very bullish silver, especially silver from that pattern that I posted uh, earlier this morning. A lot of work to do these next few days, so I'll be doing a lot of videos. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And what we'll do is we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. I have one final request is uh, do something nice for your neighbors, folks, because there's folks out there that are having a hell of a lot of problems. We'll see you tomorrow. 